In our next screencast, we're going to have a look at how you reflect triangle A, B, and C in both the X and the Y axis. So what if we wanted to take the triangle and we actually want the triangle to reflect about the axis so that um, it's almost like a mirror. So if you consider a mirror and you were to look at your face in the mirror, the closest part to the mirror would be your nose and the closest part in the image that you see in the mirror would be your nose as well. So let's start with our x-axis. So looking at our x-axis, our x-axis is the line y equals zero and we want to take this triangle and we want to reflect it. So if we think about that, the closest part to the to the mirror or the line of reflection, this is called a line of reflection, is going to be point B. So point B is two units away. It's gone up two. So we are going to reflect it two units onto the other side. Our x coordinate remains the same. So B prime is going to become negative six, negative two. Likewise, if we take point A, we can see that point A is up six and it's along the line x equals negative four. We're going to reflect it down here to negative six for the y coordinate and for our x coordinate it's going to be minus four. So a prime now goes to minus four negative six and we have a point. Now our c point is going to go de is going to reflect along the line as well and the distance from the point to the line is 4. So this distance along here is 4. So we're going to go down 4. And our new point for point C prime becomes negative 1, negative 4. Joining the points together, we can see that our triangle re retains the same shape that it had before. Whoops. However, when you look at the triangle, we can see that it shifted its orientation. The closest point here, B and B prime, are both the closest to the line of reflection. Likewise, ask yourself, what is it going to look like if I reflect in this line, in the x equals zero line or in the y axis? So maybe pause the video and think about that for a minute. Okay. Let's have a look at how that's going to reflect. So C is going to be the closest point to the line. So it's over 1. So it's going to be over 1 here. In this case, we've already used C prime. So we're going to call this new spot C double prime. A is over 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's going to move over 1, 2, 3, 4. And you'll notice the y coordinate hasn't changed, just the x coordinate. So a double prime. Likewise, we can do point b. It's over 6, so we're going to go over 6. And now we have point b double prime. We can join the points together. A ruler is really helpful for this. Join all three points together. And if we look, we've saved the size of our triangle stayed the same. However, our orientation of this triangle has changed again because it's been reflected with the closest point being the closest point and the furthest point being the furthest point away. So that's how you do a reflection about a line. We need to define what the line of reflection is. And then we simply look at the points that are closest. Keep in mind that a triangle is always defined by three points. So as long as you know the three points, you can join them and you always have a triangle. Thanks for watching. I hope this has been helpful.